hello today i will explain you how you create a runtime connection string in desktop application so that's one easy so if you have a multiple connections local and live so you want to change any time so this is good for you so because by default uh, fix uh, connection string so this way you can change any time so if your system change your static ip change and other things on a network so this is very helpful so anytime you can change this like i will sh give you a uh, demo now like this one so this is the connection string this is live and local so by default i put uh, like uh, uh, not showable so let's i show you so let me So like this one you can change so this is for uh, security of uh, the administrator so you just change a tab and after that you just say active so then the connection that one is by default activate so you can also test after that you can save this connection string setting save in the registry file so not in the database files so let's we start a demo so first of all, create a project and uh, we're using a DevX controls. So you can use DevX tablets or whatever. So now I will create with the DevX controls. So let's say create demo set data base connection. So I put somewhere else samples projects. Okay, I will create. So now I use this one tablet tablet okay this one project so after that so here we will create connection strings which uh, store in uh, uh, information in a registry so after that we create one screens so a database connection screen then we create a login screen here the time of login if by default the information not have in a registry then system automatically sh give you the screen of uh, connection strings so after the selection of connection strings then you log in with the systems so this is the by default uh, form coming so now we create one screens for a connection strings by default this one coming so we will create one screen so template so this one devx we say the connection db connection form we create db connection so another form we will create with login After that, this is for login. So I already have a login. So to save a time to use that one. So yes, already I designed a screens for local connection and for live connection. So let we start uh, uh, connection strings. First of all, I already create this one DB connection this is file which create and access uh, information from a registry so for local uh, database uh, uh, that path name so the database name users passwords and this is for uh, using for 
which connection enable or disable like local or live so this flag we use for that one this is for live save things we create again with the live settings so this uh, these two lines we use getting uh, fetching a data from the registry according to that we pass here database source database name username and password same as for live we use same as copy after that we uh, make a function so that one check according to the status of the uh, uh, tab so active uh, live one or uh, local one so here we put a condition so this is for local for this for live so after that we fetch with this set uh, connection strings static uh, parameters so let after that uh, we come to I already create one del file so here uh, we fetch the connection strings okay so after that uh, I already uh, import uh, SQL helper class helper class all the functions are already created so we will use this one no need to be manual so then how I fetch the connection string so I made this file so we fetch a connection string so and this is for connection open or uh, we just check the connection status so this is function for user login so parameter pass and connection string so and uh, we fetch this one and this is for fetching uh, all employee records so after that one so first open a uh, default one so here I create one configuration file so uh, and up to uh, two variables mm, booleans for action which connection string is active or deactive so here uh, this is drop down list we load all the type of the data sources so two because two tabs so we load this one after that we select if already have a uh, setting save so then system according to that select which tab is active so that tab by default selected so after that this one we put as a show um, pa uh, password so not able to show so that's why we use as a password so both action is uh, active is uh, true so next one is checking on a load when this again open first of all uh, we check our registry Re uh, in this file system first check this one we create with the name of demo connection in the current user registry if the registry is null not created then first we create a registry after that we save these four type five types in a registry for uh, local same as for live so we say by default uh, our connection string selected is a live so and this one of uh, when we created that then we save this information to show on a when the screen uh, in the text boxes so we fetch from the registry and we load it in the related uh, text boxes if the registry is not null next time or uh, the second time we open and system just reload all information from the registry and populate in the related text boxes so this is the uh, we use on load so after that uh, so on live we click this one how we check system will access the fetching the information so which already loaded here so we will check with this way and SQL connection string so after if connection is open it's mean is successful so this is the way 
and after that we save these information in a registry if we wanted to change after that change these information to save in a registry in this way so because this is a live so we say this is a live is true and local is false so the connection is successfully saved so next if we say uh, this tab is active so we just select uh, fetch a connect uh, registry after that we change as yes, live active and local deactivate so the first tab the color we change so this is for color change then we know yes is action is performed successfully if we wanted to before uh, show so oh, first for a security I made separate screen so if like this one I open this screen will show before so we give a password and verify after that uh, like by default I put password this one system verify if the security code equal with this one which we fix so the message show ok and visible the error is hide so next one this is for uh, text leave only if the code is not correct then color change according to that so if verified ok so screen closed and the uh, after ok the passwords show as a normal text so then we can see what is right here so next if we wanted to hide so we just hide the all as a password so here we closed same as same code we put here in uh, local connection string and same those uh, procedures we follow so after that we come to a login so when uh, at the time of login screen we call a registry if the connection string not created in a first time if we log in or open a system so that time this information called and that time maybe information is null so that time this screen pop up as a show so then you define a connection string after saving in uh, information in a registry so the connection established when we check like this one if is valid system first check in a registry so if information connection signal uh, uh, established then system show the data DB connection window else uh, we get information and system will load. let me show you the screens after run so before we so let I start the project so when system open so by default come in connection string window because information not have uh, in a registry so let me check so we want to show like this one okay so job if the password ok so system show this one so let me check with the local test db so i change system show ok we save in a registry so we say active this tag local so after that we say hide system show as a hide so now we close we say password is admin is one so system login so let me check the record imply I'm not opening but I check this one to open so 
so first of all i need to open a form of employee so that's why i said uh, employee form employee info obj new employee obj dot show and I said this one obj dot mdi is mdi child mdi parent parent so let document manager put so document manager and we will create MDI MDI change to this one container then we say it's parent mdi parent dot display point so let we open this one so this is the last step admin so one okay so when we open form will be first we create say this map with MDA parent form this one then open then we saw that form open within a form like this one so this one so it says so all information coming so there this is the way how to we change this one so let if we want to change a connection string so let I click same thing I open but no need MDI I said show dialog uh, open db connection db connection so when I open this one we saw after that if you wanted to change connection string anytime so you can change I said this one open and active be active this tab so active this tab and close so you can open that one so okay thank you please watch and subscribe my channels and i will share these codes and inbox me so okay thank you bye bye